Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Mama June, Road to Redemption star June Shannon's in a great place following her drug addiction, but her relationship with her children may still be on shaky ground. So will the wet reality celeb celebrate Christmas with her kids this year or be left out? Currently, June Shannon is doing great. She has been clean and sober for over two years. Plus, she's happily married to Justin Strud, and she's still working on projects. It's still unclear if she will return for Season 7 of Mama June, Road to Redemption. But there have been rumors going around that Mama has been seen filming. However, that might have been when she and her partner Adam Barta were producing their new comedy series, The Dish. Indeed, fans hope to see a new season of Mama June. No doubt, there's still plenty of family drama. Last we saw Mama, her kids weren't happy with her choices partially because she married Justin so quickly. Also, her daughter, Lauren, Pumpkin Shannon, was fighting her for custody of her little sister Alana, Honey Boo Boo Thompson. And she won. Pumpkin and her family are doing well. But is the Mama June road to redemption celebrity in the picture? Mama's daughter, Pumpkin, is living her best life. Sure, it's a bit chaotic with four kids and her two sisters. But it looks like life is good for Pumpkin. She and her husband, Josh Aferd, are busy raising their four children. There's the oldest, Ella Grace Aferd, who's four years old. Then they have Bedley Eford, who is one year old, and their newest additions, twins Silas Eford and Stella Eford, who just turned six months old. And, of course, there's Alana of Mama June, Road to Redemption, who's growing up incredibly fast. Alana graduates high school this year and is living it up as a senior. Plus, she's still happily dating her boyfriend, Dralyn Carswell. Alana and her sisters are active on social media but never post anything about their mom, so it's not clear if they see her at all or are on good terms with her. Of course, Mama's kids are happy that their mom is clean, sober, and doing well. However, last season, they still didn't feel that she put them first. In fact, Pumpkin posted something saying Mama didn't visit her in the hospital when she had the twins and she doesn't visit or help Pumpkin with the kids. So there might still be some bad blood between them. If so, they might decide not to spend the holidays together. Hopefully, that's not the case, and June Shannon can spend Christmas Day with her family and go into the new year on a positive note. The air was crisp with the promise of winter as December approached, blanketing the small town of Hampton, Georgia. The Christmas lights twinkled along the main street, casting a warm glow over the quaint shops and cafes that lined the sidewalks. For June Shannon, known to the world as Mama June, this holiday season was about more than just festive decorations and holiday cheer. It was about finding her way back to the heart of her family. June had once been a central figure in the chaotic whirlwind of reality television, known for her larger-than-life personality and the trials she faced alongside her daughters. However, in recent years, her life had taken a darker turn, overshadowed by addiction and legal troubles that threatened to tear her family apart. But now, as Christmas approached, there was a glimmer of hope amidst the shadows. The journey to redemption had not been an easy one for June. It was a path marked by rehab stints, relapses, and painful confrontations with her past mistakes. Yet, through it all, her daughters, Alana, Lauren, and Jessica had remained steadfast in their love for their mother despite the hurt and disappointment they had endured. Alana, better known as Honey Boo Boo, had been just a child when the cameras first captured their lives on Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Now a teenager, she had grown up in the spotlight, her innocence tempered by the harsh realities of fame and family struggles. Lauren, or Pumpkin, as she was affectionately called, had taken on a maternal role herself, caring not only for her younger sister, but also for her own daughter, Ella Grace. Jessica, the eldest, had faced her own battles with motherhood and had emerged as a pillar of strength for her sisters.
As December unfolded, the question on everyone's mind was whether June would be home for Christmas. It was a question that carried weight, echoing through the halls of their shared history. For the family, Christmas had always been a time of togetherness, of laughter and love exchanged around a twinkling tree. But in recent years, the holiday had been tinged with the absence of their matriarch, a void that no amount of tinsel or presents could fill. The days leading up to Christmas were filled with anticipation and anxiety. June had been making progress in her recovery, attending therapy sessions and support groups with a newfound determination. She had apologized for the pain she had caused, though the wounds of the past were not easily healed. There were moments of doubt and fear as the specter of addiction loomed large over their fragile peace. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, there were glimmers of hope. June had begun to rebuild her relationships with her daughters, one conversation at a time. There were tears shed and harsh words spoken, but also laughter shared over inside jokes and memories of happier times. The bond between them, though strained, had not been broken beyond repair. In the heart of Hampton, the town prepared for its annual Christmas parade. Floats adorned with lights and garlands lined the streets as children eagerly awaited Santa's arrival. It was a scene straight out of a holiday movie, a reminder of the magic that this season could bring. For the Shannon family, it was a chance to come together, to put aside their differences and celebrate the love that bound them. On Christmas Eve, a light snow began to fall, dusting the rooftops and sidewalks with a blanket of white. The air was filled with the sound of carols and laughter as families gathered around crackling fires and festive tables. In the Shannon household, the scent of cinnamon and pine mingled with the aroma of a home-cooked meal prepared with love by Lauren and Jessica. As the evening wore on, there was a knock on the door, a hesitant, tentative sound that echoed through the quiet house. Alana, ever the curious one, rushed to answer it, her heart pounding with anticipation. And there, standing on the doorstep, bundled up against the cold, was June Shannon. Tears welled up in Alana's eyes as she threw her arms around her mother, holding her tight as if afraid she might disappear. Behind her, Lauren and Jessica stood, their own emotions written across their faces. There were no words, only the quiet understanding that this moment was a gift, one they had all been waiting for. Inside, the warmth of the fireplace enveloped them as they gathered around the Christmas tree. The room was filled with laughter and tears as they exchanged gifts and stories from the past year. June spoke softly, her voice filled with gratitude and regret as she thanked her daughters for their unwavering love and support. As the clock struck midnight, they joined hands for a prayer, a simple yet profound moment of unity and forgiveness. They prayed for strength and healing, for the courage to face the challenges that lay ahead. And in that moment, surrounded by the love of family and the promise of a new beginning, they knew that they had found their way home. Outside, the snow continued to fall, blanketing the world in a quiet stillness. It was a Christmas unlike any they had known before, a Christmas of redemption and renewal, of second chances and the enduring power of love. And as they looked to the future, they did so with hope in their hearts, knowing that no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together. For June Shannon and her daughters, this holiday season was a reminder that the road to redemption was not always straight or easy. It was a journey marked by setbacks and struggles, but also by moments of grace and resilience. And as they celebrated Christmas together, they knew that they had been given the greatest gift of all the gift of family, reunited and stronger than ever before. As dawn broke over Hampton on Christmas morning, the town was bathed in a golden light as if touched by the magic of the season. And in the Shannon household, amidst the wrapping paper and leftover cookies, there was a sense of peace and joy that transcended words. For Mama June and her children, this was a Christmas to remember, a Christmas of hope, forgiveness, and the enduring promise of love. And so, as the year drew to a close and a new one began, the Shannon family looked forward with optimism and gratitude. They knew that their journey was far from over, 
but they also knew that as long as they had each other, they could weather any storm that came their way. As for June Shannon, her path to redemption would continue one step at a time. But on this Christmas day, surrounded by the love of her daughters, she knew that she had already found her greatest reward, the chance to be home for Christmas.